Oh, why, hello, Gunther, and hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to some Stardew Valley. Oh, good morning, Mr. D-Dub. I hope it's not too early. Well, I just wanted to stop by and thank you in person for all the wonderful artifacts and minerals you've discovered. You've done so much for one person. In fact, I've just received a letter from the Office of Regional Secretary of Artifacts. We're being honored with the coveted Golden Shuffle Award for our significant contributions to the field. And it's all thanks to you. He's like shaking every time we go to the next screen. That's weird. Well, I shall let you get back to your work. Oh, as soon as I say that, he stops. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a gift for you. It's an old key that's been sealed in the museum vault for at least 100 years. It's a little rusty, but still beautiful. Oh, is this? You got the rusty key. It's been added to your wallet. Is this the key to? Where's our wallet? Is that even a thing? Ah, I don't. Sorry, guys. I'm having a moment right now. I don't know if I've ever acquired anything that goes in this. So I don't know if I've ever even seen that we even have a wallet. I think that's the key, if I'm not mistaken, to the sewers. We're gonna go check that out. Also, we're gonna check out another, another uh, something in today's episode. And that is that little, that little shadow dude that we saw. I don't know his name. Um, we peeked out the, the east exit of our farm and he was there. Uh, he freaked out and ran away. Someone commented last episode. I'm sorry. I don't know your name. I should have checked that before I recorded. I, f I apologize But I also noticed that when I was editing there were some footprints that were left in the snow as he ran away And I think I saw some up by the community center But I'm not sure so we're gonna we're gonna check out all the things today guys We're gonna first head to I guess the sewers. I didn't plan on doing that today but I'm also just now seeing that we have the ability to do that so that's something we will for sure do oh my gosh look at that Darcy's almost five hearts that's amazing also normally I would skip all this but I don't think it matters where you place them uh, but there's something I want to discuss real quick and it makes more sense to see it first okay so in here, as as you know, we have our lovely cows, and we can milk them, and we can talk to them, and if we and if we inspect them, it says allow pregnancy or don't allow pregnancy. But one thing that you have to do, I was curious as to why they weren't uh, getting pregnant, or like why there wasn't any sort of miracle dust you sprinkle on them to make them pregnant that's a, a harvest moon thing um i i wasn't sure what was going on with that so i did a little research not online but in the game i was looking around trying to figure out what i needed to do and apparently we need the next barn upgrade to be able to have a uh pregnancy even as an option so let me go ahead and drop off our items real quick we'll go down to the sewers and we will we got a lot of stuff going on, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm excited for this. I I have never... This is brand new for me. I have never in any of my Stardew Valley playtime ever gotten into the sewers, and I'm pretty sure that's what this key's for. I could be wrong, but I'm like 99% sure that's what it is. So we're going to head down to the sewers real quick and see what there is to see. I think it's its whole like own area. I don't know how large it is. But some of you that have definitely been there already are probably laughing at me right now for not having a clue what to expect. But I've, I try very hard when I play games, especially games that are as good as Stardew Valley is, to not spoil anything for myself by watching any YouTube videos on content I haven't experienced yet. So this is going to be a brand new experience for me that I've never seen, never, never done anything with. So I am, I'm very much looking forward to this, and I hope I'm not. A incredibly hyping this up for nothing but this should work you unlock the sewer hatch with the rusty key whoa that's nasty whoa 
There's some kind of force field blocking your path. Statue of Uncertainty. This statue can help you change professions. Make an offering of 10,000 gold. Oh! I think that's new. I think I heard about that in the beta content. Uh, if you want to change your your professions, um, like right now we have the artisan profession, you could choose the other option. If you pay 10,000 gold, that's crazy. What? He's here? Uh, I, I didn't, I, I was not expecting to find this guy. A human visitor? This is most unusual. And he can speak too? I'm Krobus, merchant of rare and exotic goods. I find things here and I sell them. Care to buy anything? Whoa. A void egg? It's warm to the touch. It's an animal product. Can I... Can I hatch that in an incubator? I'm kind of curious. I'm not going to buy it right now. I'm not going to buy anything right now. Because I have other... Oh, we can buy a star drop for 20,000 gold. And a monster fireplace. That's so cool. And some recipes for different stuff. Oh my goodness. For 2 million gold. <laughs> Hold this scepter to the sky and return to home at will. That's actually a cool item. Super end game. But, oh my gosh. I can't believe we found him. And where does this take? Cool. That's a way to get around town. Okay. Awesome. This is all unexpected. I've never been down there before. That was not as uh, incredibly exciting as I thought it was going to be. But yeah, look. These look like footprints. So he went up here. And we follow them. And they disappear. Oh, he hopped through the fountain. What a hooligan. Uh, he disappeared up here. Would he normally... Yeah. Whoa! He could teleport too. Shadow guy. Eep! You caught me! I'm sorry. Take it. Take it. It looks so valuable. I couldn't help myself. Wait. Is that not Krobus? You received the magnifying glass. You now have the ability to find secret notes. These notes reveal rare and useful information and can be reviewed in your collections tab. Oh my gosh, this is the episode of new things for me, guys. I I had no idea that was a thing. Is that another item in our wallet? Yeah, magnifying glass to find secret notes. Like I said not long ago, I don't like spoilers, so please no one tell me where to find everything for that. I, I'd kind of like to explore that on my own. Uh, but man, that's cool. Okay, um, I'm here because we have a Nautilus shell that I'm pretty sure we can use to complete one of these bundles. There we go. And then we're going to head up to Robin's and get something built for ourselves. Rewards. A recycling machine. Cool. I'm actually happy about that. I've been wanting to add, I think, two more recycling machines to our crafting area. And that's one of the two. So, that's cool. Um, but yeah, I need to chop down one more tree. I've got the stone, and I need 12 more wood, and we will be able to... Oh, don't tell me I cut all the trees down up here. I think I did. I need one tree, guys. One tree. I can cut these, and I don't want to cut that, because that's... That's risky. And I don't even... Ah, there's a tree. Okay. Oh, man. We're going to get ourselves a big barn upgrade, and I'm so excited. All right, Robin. Hey, have a nice walk. Yes, yes I did. Construct me a farm building, please. I think I have everything I need for it. I hope I have everything I need for it. I do. Big bar, that's so much gold though. We're gonna have 93 left. We're doing it. It says it houses eight barn dwelling animals. We currently have the ability to house four and allows animals to give birth. So now pregnancy will be a thing. And I think the way it works is just if you have an open space in your barn, they might get it on. And I mean, they're all females right now, but they might magically become pregnant. The 
the pregnancy fairy might come and visit them. I don't know. Okay, I'll start working on your barn upgrade first thing tomorrow morning. Oh, this is exciting. Hey there, D-Dub. I was just daydreaming about some new carpentry projects. Are you doing okay at your place? How's the woodwork in your cottage holding up? It's great. Oh, now that we have this magnifying glass, does this allow us to, like, search stuff? No, we've been able to do that anyway. Um, I guess winter is a good time to work on my gadgets. I wonder if I could make anything useful for farmers. That would be very helpful. Do you have a kitchen in your house yet? Cooking is kind of like doing lab work. I guess so, kind of, sort of. Um, one thing I want to do, and I mentioned I wanted to do it a while back. We might go do it at Leah's today or something. I don't know, or tomorrow. I'm not sure, but I want to go in, while we've got all this downtime in winter, go through each person's residence once we have three hearts with every person that lives in that residence. Because I think that could be really cool to kind of, or at least I think it'll be cool because it's not something I've ever done a lot of, to just kind of go through their house and inspect all of the stuff inside and it's Wednesday and uh, just kind of see what kind of lore there is. And is Harvey, I think this is his bedroom. Yeah, he lives where he works. Not the best idea. Unless you work from home, then that's different. <laughs> but, okay, that takes care of that. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, there's another, what are these things called? Crocus? Cool. Okay, one thing I want to do today, or I guess another thing I want to do today, that was, I, I feel like we've had an eventful day so far. Some of you guys might think that was very minimal, but for me that was actually... Really exciting. That's all brand new stuff for me. But I want to start cooking a little bit. That'll give us a, a crap ton of energy and stuff we can use for energy. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's drop the recycling machine here and drop off some of this stuff. And then let's get cooking. All right, so I don't really have a goal for this. I just want to see kind of what we can make. Um, I guess our first step would be grabbing a lot of the different items that we have over there in our sort of vegetable slash fruit chest over in our garden and just kind of pulling stuff over here and seeing what we can make. I'd like to just kind of go down the list if possible. That'd be kind of cool, I think. But let me go ahead and gather some ingredients together. Actually, like cooking ingredients. That sounds weird to say. And we'll get started making a few of these. We're not going to go crazy, but we're going to... I don't know. Let's go see what we can make. Okay, so I've got a ton of ingredients here now. And I just kind of want to stash all of them in here. And then, I don't know. These might just stay in here for the duration of winter. Because I don't really want to have to keep trying to find where stuff's at. So I might just come in here. But that gives us the ability to make a couple other things. And we can also, we need leek, dandelion, and vinegar. And I believe vinegar is something we have to buy from, oh, look at that, void mayonnaise. That's probably, yeah, that's definitely, you buy a void egg and put that. I wonder if you can, can you get a void chicken maybe? We'll definitely try that out once we get a little bit more gold, but we are kind of broke right now, so we won't be doing that. But let's just make whatever we can make with what we have in here. We can make cheese cauliflower. Oh, we only have one piece of cheese, so that was needed for that. A tortilla, and that's it. Oh, we need a parsnip and an omelet, so we can actually make an omelet, and then we can make farmer's lunch. That's cool. I didn't know items like played into each other like that. Like we need to make hash browns and have sardines. That's really cool. And I still don't know how to get artichokes. But, okay, let me go grab a few more ingredients. This uh, will give us a couple more things we can make. Okay, I got a few more. I don't know what this is going to allow us to make, if anything else, but hopefully it will. Uh, we can now make a salmon dinner, which needed salmon, obviously. Uh, and then sashimi, which is just any fish. That's, wow, 75 energy. That's crazy. Some of the, like, trash fish you can catch cost next to nothing, or they're worth next to nothing. But by doing this, we're able to make so much more use out of it. 
Wow. I like cooking, guys. That was very simple and basic. But now we've got a bunch of stuff. And I'm realizing it might be nice to build another chest somewhere in here to stash all of our food. For the time being, I'm just going to throw it all in here. But, or not all of it, but most of it. We shouldn't be needing much each day. But whenever we go mining or something, we can grab a piece and head out with it. And that'll help quite a bit. We shouldn't be running out of energy pretty much ever now. Even if we do have crazy, busy, productive days, I think it's going to be just really, really useful. I was coming down here to grab Applejack, but he's so far away. So I might not even bother. I kind of want to go... Today's Wednesday. Where is Leah at? Because we've already given her her gifts for the week. We can say hi to Marnie, I guess. And I kind of want to go fishing a little bit. We are really hurting for money, especially now after that massive purchase of the uh, big barn. So I might... Whoa. I thought that was a cutscene for a sec. I guess it's not. Oh, she walks the kids home. That's nice. What? I didn't know Sam worked at Jojo Mart. I hate working at Jojo Mart, but how else am I going to make money in this town? I knew Shane worked there. I don't ever visit because I hate Jojo Mart and everything they stand for, but that's cool. But yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of fishing and I will catch you guys in just a sec, just as I catch these fish. All right. You can see we re relocated to the river. And that's because I actually remembered that we had a a fishing quest for Willie. And so I went ahead and did it. It was to catch three pike, if you guys remember. We picked it up today. And we went ahead and took care of it. Oh, man. <sighs> Every day is the same. Stocking those horrible shelves. Going to the saloon. Tossing and turning all night. That's not a... Ooh! Willie is actually still here. Uh, so we need to just show him... Well, this this is our haul, by the way pretty successful if i don't say so myself uh the pike we just need to show them it right and we get to keep them so we are on route for interception of willy <laughs> hey you succeeded Ida. the pike is an exciting catch don't you think one time i caught one the size of a small motorcycle well here's your reward congratulations and let's gift something to him why not We've already given him two gifts? I guess that counted? I don't know. I didn't think we had. Maybe we have. I'm not usually good about gifting things to people, but maybe for Willie we are. I, I don't know. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. It is midnight. I'm going to go ahead and do my, my famous quick inventory dump, and then we'll head to bed. All right. Let's head to bed and get on to the next day. I went ahead and saved quite a few of those fish, but I also sold quite a few. So hopefully we make a decent amount of money from it. Yeah, almost two grand. Not bad at all. Definitely recouping some of our losses. Uh, what did we make so much money from farming for? Wow, duck mayo sells for a crap load. All of these are artisan goods and we're making two grand. I can't wait till we have a full barn and a full coop both of which being fully upgraded, that's going to be so incredibly profitable. And I know it's still small time money compared to, you know, late game, but still. Ooh, expect a few inches of snow tomorrow. Cool. I love snowy days. Uh, spirits are not super happy, but oh well, I think we're going to go mining today. Wondering how to get your hands on refined quartz? Just put a regular old quartz in the furnace. You'll need a lump of coal to fuel the fire. I knew that, I think. But I have not done that yet. And judging by the iron bars that we just crafted, uh, we're going to be upgrading our hoe today. As well as a couple other things. Uh, I want to get our hoe upgraded. We're going to take care of our animals. We have a community center bundle we can drop off. And let me go ahead and... Actually... Dang it. I should have saved... I sold two cro crocuses? Croci? A crocus and then another crocus that were not regular quality. I totally forgot we should have been making those into uh, seeds. 
that is on me, guys. I, I goofed on that. I was going to say, we'll go ahead and drop the rest of these off, but I'm wanting to hang on to these as my reminder to make seeds, which apparently didn't work so well because I forgot. So yeah, that's a thing. But let me go ahead and collect these mushrooms, take care of my animals, and we will reconvene when I am done with that. All right, guys, I just realized we don't even have the money uh, to to upgrade our axe. So I'm going to just take, or sorry, not our axe, our hoe. I'm going to take 10 blueberries and just run by Pierre's and sell them. Actually, no, I have a better idea. This is me making up for me being a total forgetful person uh, and not realizing I had these in there. <laughs> so we've got cherry and apricot saplings. Uh, two of which that aren't going to end up being planted because we already planted them. So we can go sell those to Pierre on our way over. And then we're going to hit the mines. We've had a lot of a lot of silence in winter. And that's expected. I don't know why there's coal in there. And we might head by there on our way. I don't know how long that the train uh, actually is here while it's passing. But... It's not a priority of mine right now. I want to get to... Oh my gosh, there's so many worms. Uh, I want to get to Clint's and get our hoe upgraded, which I might regret seeing as how much stuff we're picking up right now. But, oh well. Those worms will be there later if we come across them once we drop our hoe off. But man, I'm glad we got some more music. Winter is very, very quiet. And of all the seasons, I'm the most okay with it in winter. But it's, it's still... It's still very quiet. All right, copper ores, we can... I think we have those. We might go do that real quick. I'm thinking we will. Okay, yeah, let's sell these. Oh my gosh, so much. How much are these worth originally? So the cherry sapling... Okay, so we get 50%. Gosh, so much. Okay, so we wasted a decent amount of money. 2700 but whatever. We'll make that up soon ish all right hello pierre oh something about summer spangles and how much his wife loves them but all right let's go ahead over to clint i went ahead and actually through the power of editing i also now have our copper ores with us and we're gonna go ahead and drop both those off our hoe and the ores get that quest taken care of i don't is would you guys call it a quest help wanted request shorten that to request it's a, it's a quest you know i don't know i think of them as quests okay there we go oh and we can say hi to him as well every time i come to upgrade my tools he tells me i should come and upgrade my tools which is exactly what i'm doing thank you all right we'll see you in a couple days clint thanks sir all right, let's head up to the mines and get our mine on. It's been a little while since we've been mining, I feel, and it's long overdue. Plus, like I said earlier, I'd love to combat the silence of winter with some of our own music. I love doing the little time lapses when we go mining. I hope you guys enjoy them as well. It's a fun chance for me to play around with doing time lapses and I don't know, I enjoy it. I also like adding the music in there and mining's just fun in general. I enjoy it. We're getting close to the, the bottom though. And once we hit the bottom, I don't actually remember what happens, but, oh, I would love to dig you up right now, but I can't. All right, I don't remember what happens, but I'm pretty sure you get something pretty cool. And then, and I honestly forgot we had food in here too. Cool. Grab our sword out, reposition some stuff. And we are good to go. Don't let me forget we need to go by the community center. Let me put that up there. That might help me remember. But all right, let's get mining.
All right, we made it. That was a cool run. Oh, we got space boots too? Man, okay, let's get out of here. If you guys noticed, we picked up some secret notes. And I don't know how this works. Uh, do we have to use our magnifying glass? Collections? It said it was somewhere, like as we read them, it would be in our collections. Uh, I don't know where that is or what I do with these. It's an old and crumpled, or it's old and crumpled, but if you look closely, maybe with a magnifying glass, you can read it, right? I, I don't know how that works. I feel like I should be able to interact with that, but I can't. And our inventory is absolutely full. Um, I guess we'll throw our food in here. Stuff with that can be eaten as food. And, shame on me, I was about to take the, uh, the minecart back, but we can't do that quite yet. Let's stash the stuff that we don't really care about in here. Let's just stash... Actually, why don't I just keep all of our monster loot in here? At least for a little while. We don't really do much else with it, so... Sure, that's at least enough room to grab our tools back and drop our sword off. And we can take one of these. Cool. Okay, let's go by the community center. And oh, I really want to know how we interact with these. That's a lot of secret notes. And this one, secret note 12, 17, 19, 1, and 18. That's cool that we got note 1. Not that I even know what to do with it, but cool nonetheless, maybe? Still? Kind of? Sort of? I don't know. All right, let's head by the community center real quick and get this bundle done. And the plus side of doing this is it's going to give us winter seeds, I imagine. And if I'm not mistaken, this is going to complete a room, like, entirely. I think. I hope. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh, which one is it? This is the crops. I think it's this one. I'm so bad at the layout of the community center as far as what's what. Yes, this is going to complete it. Okay, so we've got a winter root, a crystal fruit, a snow yam, and a crocus. And that is a bridge repair complete. And 30 winter seeds, which we can actually use pretty badly. That is going to help make us a lot of money. And oh my gosh, I can't un... I did a stream of Stardew Valley multiplayer last night. This house was empty for years. The I didn't get to read all that because I was I was talking. Wow, look at this. That's so cool looking. I love the look of this. He's adding a star to the wall too. Oh, I would love to just that'd be a cool room to play in as a kid for sure. Oh yeah. That's awesome. Cool. That's two done. Is he following me around? Yeah. Does he want to talk to me? That's so cute. <laughs> All right. That's awesome. And that's the bridge repair, uh, I believe, up by the mines. We can't go check it out tonight because if you guys remember when we got the mine carts repaired, I was beating myself up for not taking them immediately. But we actually get a cutscene tonight when we're sleeping, I think, or the following day of them actually repairing it. So it's still very much broken right now, but it will be fixed very soon. But all right, let me go ahead and dump my inventory and let's go to bed. Man, I don't know what these are for. I'm hoping we get some sort of cutscene explaining what they're for or something. But that's totally a, hey, use your magnifying glass on this. But one thing I'm going to check is that the shadow guy or whatever his name was that popped out of the bush really looked a lot like Krobus. So I might want to go pay Krobus another visit and see if I did that kind of in the wrong order. I think I was supposed to find him up there first. If that even is him. And look at that. Our bridge is repaired. But yeah, I might go pay him another visit and see if that fixes anything. Because I don't know what to do with these otherwise. They're just kind of sitting there in my inventory taking up space. I might create a chest just for them and start stashing them but I feel like I should be reading them as I find them or maybe just stash them all and then read them all in order I don't know I will figure it out but 
thank you guys so much for watching. This was a really fun episode for me. It was some brand new content for me, which is the first I've had in a little while. But, all right. That does it for this one, though. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, as always, take care.